Hello, today is day 13 of our Bible Books Challenge. Just a reminder again as we start uh, of what we're trying to do through the Bible Books Challenge. Uh, first of all, through the picture that we see, each picture we see we're trying to work out which book of the Bible the picture represents and secondly, to spend a little bit of time in that book, understanding a little bit more about it. Did you spend any time yesterday writing down the main characters in the Old Testament, particularly in Genesis? If you did, did you do them in time order as well? Uh, chronologically is the word that we often use. Uh, here are mine. Uh, I started obviously with Adam and then Eve. Now there are other stories as well in here, but I went straight to Noah as I considered the spread of sin. Um, so Noah. After Noah, well, you've got the Tower of Babel, but then there's Abraham. His promises made to Abraham were passed to Isaac, to Jacob, and then we have finally in the story Joseph. Remember, uh, Jacob in particular had his name changed by God. You remember what it was? Yes, he had his name changed to Israel. So as you look over these names, can you remember some of the associated stories to them as well? You might remember we've done some of the prof uh, prophetic books as well, some of the minor prophets. So Jacob and his brother Esau, his twin brother, and the story related to them. And obviously there's the story of Joseph, which is a huge story within the book of Genesis. Well, we need to get on. So here is picture number 25 from yesterday. And in it we can see, well, it's love and marriage. Uh, this book is a love song between a husband and a wife, a special song of all songs. It reminds us that romantic love is God's idea. Yes, it is song of songs. Um, and well, you know, it could be about Solomon and one of his wives. According to God's law, he was only meant to have one wife, not the 700 that he ended up with. Or it may be a template for love in marriage. Solomon certainly has some funny ways of complimenting his wife as he tells her that her neck is like a tower, as you can see in the picture. He also, uh, he talks about her hair as being like a flock of goats. I don't think I would suggest that one uh, to your wives if you're married. Anyway, here's, question, here's picture number 26. And what, you, what can you see here? Well, you can see two sand mules. And we've seen a similar one to this picture before. I know one of my colleagues in particular who, wasn't, uh, who hasn't particularly forgiven me for one Sam Mule, so I expect he's not going to forgive me for two Sam Mules either. So I'm sure you know this is the second book of Samuel, 2 Samuel, containing many of the stories, particularly of King David, who loved God with a whole heart. You can see that on his tunic, his whole heart for God. Uh, he played the harp and he used it to calm King Saul and he also wrote many psalms which he sang as he worshipped God. Again, we've looked at the psalms already, haven't we, with the two palm trees. Although David was a good king who loved God, it's important to note he wasn't perfect and this book records some of his mistakes, especially his wrongdoing with Bathsheba. However, God continued to love David because he always said he was sorry and he meant it. Well, here's our next two pictures. This is for tomorrow. So we've got picture number 27. Remember one of the phrases that we've been trying to remember all the way through is say what you see. Uh, and then the picture not only helps towards the book, but it also helps a little bit with the content within the book as well. And here's the last one for today, and that's picture number 28. There you have it. How about adding to what we're already doing? And I've talked about the characters in Genesis. What about listing the main characters through the book of Exodus, the second book of the Old Testament? And uh, so for me now, uh, have lots of fun today. I hope you enjoy working those two books out, maybe doing a little bit extra in terms of reading through the books as well. Uh, have fun again and I will see you tomorrow as we approach day 14.